Hey kids, welcome. Happy day uh, before Thanksgiving. So, hope you guys are doing awesome. I'm going to run through the odd problems here just as quick as I can. Uh, and then I want to get you guys um, just working uh, on our online practice uh, so we can get really good at uh, writing slope, intercept, uh, point slope, standard form um, for parallel perpendicular lines. So number one, here we go. It gives me a point, negative one, two. And then I need to write a, a line in uh, slope, intercept that's parallel. To that. So if we're parallel, you, you've got to remember uh, we have the same slope as, as this line here. So that being said, I want a slope of one half. All right, and I'm going to squish that over there. There we go. So I got some room to write. So I know right now um, I'm going to have a slope of one half, and I need to go through negative one two. So this isn't anything new. Um, so now it's you know y minus uh, 2 equals my slope, uh, x minus x1, in this case, negative 1. And if we were writing in point slope, we would be done right here because it's x plus 1. Uh, but in this case, sorry, let me, boop, there we go. Um, so point slope, good, but it wants it in slope intercept, so we just got to keep going. So that means distribute the 1 half, and we need to move that 2 over there. So... Um, we'll say x minus 2 equals 1 half x plus, uh, in this case, a half. And now we're going to add 2 to both sides. So here you are, 1 half x uh, plus, and I don't really care if you, how you write it, 2 and a half, 5 halves, um, you know, it's all the same stuff. Bam. There we go. All right, let's take a look at problem number three. So um, it tells me we've got a garden. It's in the shape of a quadrilateral. It gives me vertices and coordinates and all that stuff. And then it says, are the two paths represented by AC and BD um, perpendicular? Well, if they're perpendicular, that means that they will form a 90-degree angle. Uh, and if they form a 90-degree angle or they're perpendicular, that means their slopes will be opposite reciprocals. So let's just look at the slope of AC and compare that to the slope of BD. So the slope of AC, uh, here we go. So this is Y2 minus Y1. So Y2, 7, uh, minus Y1 is 1. And we're going to divide all that by X2, 5. No, 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 yes, 5. Uh, minus negative 2, minus negative 2. That will turn into plus, plus. Okay, so that looks to be six sevenths. All right, so opposite reciprocal of six sevenths, if we think about what that would be, um, that would be seven sixths and then negative seven sixths. So that's what we're looking for as a slope um, out of B, D. Let's see if that's what truly happens. So uh, B right here. D is right here. So this is going to be 4 minus negative 3. All right. And then we're going to do negative 3 minus 3. So this will turn into plus, plus, if we can write, 7. Uh, negative 3. That shouldn't be a 6, should it? Yeah, that's a 3. I got ahead of myself. There we go. Um, this should be negative 3 minus 3, which is negative 6. So, yeah, we can say negative 7 6 is the slope there. And that is the opposite reciprocal of 6 7. So we would say yes, and we just say that, hey, they're opposite reciprocals. Okay, let's create a little bit more room here. Um, number 5, it says determine whether the following equations are parallel or perpendicular and explain. Okay, so again, we're just going to do the odds because you guys can try the evens um, from there. So let's take a look at my first um, one. Here we go, y equals negative 2x. Then we've got another one after that. Here it is, and we have a third one. Bam. And remember, what are we trying to do? It just says determine whether the graphs are parallel or perpendicular. So let's look at their three slopes. So I'll look at the red one that I did here first. So this is uh, y equals negative 2x. 
So this um, just has a slope of negative 2. Okay? Look at the next one, 2y equals x. Again, put this in slope-intercept form, just like the red one. Divide by negative, or I'm sorry, divide by 2. Divide by 2. This one is y equals x over 2, or 1 half x. So this has a slope of positive 1 half. And our last line is 4y equals 2x plus 4. So again, solve for y. Divide by 4, divide by 4, divide by 4. y equals 1 half x plus 1. All right, so here we go. So now we can figure out what's going on. So um, I would say that these two right, are parallel lines. They have the same slope. Uh, while the other two, right, so um, the red line and this one, as well as the red line and this green one down here, these are perpendicular uh, lines. And we know that because, again, their slopes are opposite reciprocals. Okay? Uh, let's check out number seven. It says write an equation in slope-intercept form for the line that passes through the point and is perpendicular to the given graph, okay? So on number seven, we will we can do that one first. All right, I'll put seven over here. Uh, we know we are gonna go through the point negative two, three, and we know the slope of the given line is negative one half. So I want the opposite reciprocal of that, because remember, I want a perpendicular line. So that would be two. All right, so 2 is the slope that I want. So now it's um, y minus 3 equals my slope, x minus negative 2, which I'm just going to write as x plus 2. And let's distribute that 2. All right, so 2x plus 4. And then we're going to move the 3 over by adding 3. And here's my equation 2x, that's a great looking x, you're welcome, plus 7. Okay, sweet. So there's that. Uh, last one, right there, number 9. So again, writing in slope intercept, and I want to go through the point 2, 3 and be perpendicular to the x axis. So let's just think about what that would look like. So I'm going to go through the point 2, 3, uh, maybe that's this point right here. And then I'm going to be perpendicular to the x-axis. So I want to form a 90-degree angle with the x-axis. So that means right, my line is going to look just like that. So it's going to be a vertical line um, that now goes through 2, 3. So vertical lines refer back to your special uh, lines from the other day. Vertical lines right, have an undefined slope. And when we write them as an equation, it is just x equals that number, whatever number that goes through the x-axis. In this case, um, we have an x-intercept of the, the number 2. Right? So our equation for this one, just x equals 2. So, um, so anyway, so there you go. I went really uh, quick uh, through those uh, five problems there. Um, and we're going to be tasked with, with similar stuff like that. So uh, I would say let's go ahead and, and let's dive right into the online practice. If you still uh, need more practice, we can come back here and do the evens. Um, but hopefully this uh, answers some questions. Like I said, a little bit new, but a lot of stuff that's not new. So uh, let's have a great day. Let's work hard. And uh, if you have questions, just ask.